Bring the full tithes into my storehouse and put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts, and see if I won't open the windows of heaven and pour down upon you an overflowing blessing. What does that mean? Sounds like if we're nice to God, God will be really nice to us. So, if you put $200 in the offering plate this morning, does that mean that God will bless you with a $2,000 tax refund? Is that what it says? That's a pretty good deal. If you go on a mission trip, or join a ministry team, or start a Bible study at work, does that mean that God will bless you above all blessings that you can possibly imagine? Folks, let me ask you the question directly. Is God a quid pro quo God? If you do this, then God will respond in spades? Bring the full tithes to my storehouse. Put me to the test. I will pour upon you a blessing. It sounds like we will be rewarded for good behavior. Or is our good behavior the reward itself? Is the blessing that God is talking about not a reward for our actions, but the actions themselves. Do you see where I'm going with that? Tithes or gifts or acts of Christian compassion, will they bless us with a joy and a fulfillment, us more than the people and the organizations that we give them to? How many people in this room have ever seen the movie The Blind Side? Raise your hands. If you haven't, go see it. It's a great movie. It's about a family in Memphis, the true story, a family in Memphis, Tennessee, named the Tuies, very well-to-do families who welcome and embrace a, almost a homeless boy and shower him with love. In one scene, it's maybe the best scene in the whole movie, at least for me, Leanne Tui is having lunch with her friends, you remember this, at that hoity-toity restaurant, and one of her friends says to her, Leanne, you have changed Michael's life. To which Leanne responds, no. Michael's changed mine. Did Leanne Tui stumble upon one of the greatest truths of the Christian faith? That when we respond to God's grace in generous giving, the life most blessed is ours. Has that ever happened to you? Is it true that it's better to give than receive? that you go on a mission trip. I know it's happened to people in this room. Jim has talked to me about this. You go on a mission trip and the life most changed is yours. You give a sick neighbor a pie, blueberry, hmm. <laughs> and you appreciate the gift more than they do. You respond to a need at church and it makes your whole week. You give a gift to a loved one and the heart most touched is yours. I can tell you this story. Sharon was at the first service. It was Mother's Day weekend this past spring and I wanted to get Sharon something so being the spender, big spender that I am, I went to Pike's. Wanted to buy her a flower. I don't know anything about flowers. But I saw a purple or something, and I knew it was a bougainvillea from the trips that we've gone to the Caribbean on, 
And so I bought Sharon, I don't know, pick a number, $20 bougainvillea plant. Folks, it's on our deck, blooming its crazy eyes out. Sharon liked the gift, but the gift was more special for me than it was for Sharon. I waited the whole day to give it to her. Christian giving's that way, God says. It blesses the giver more than the receiver. So God says when we give out of a love, out of a compassion, out of a commitment, the windows of heaven come opening up, not as a reward for our gift, but a result of the gift itself. Tom Long tells the story. Some of you don't realize this, but there was a time before cell phones. Tom Long tells of a story before cell phones of a man and his son walking down the street of Washington, D.C. They were looking for a payphone to call Domino's to order a pizza. So on the way to, the cell, to this payphone place, a homeless person stops by and asks for a handout. So the father digs into his pocket, comes up with all the change he has, points it to the homeless man and says, Here, take what you need. Well, the homeless guy thought it was Christmas. He took every single coin the man had and started to walk away. And the father called to the man, excuse me, sir, but my son and I, we were going to order pizza at, McDonald, at, at, at uh, Domino's. Could I have a quarterback? You know what the homeless guy did? He took all of the coins that he just got out of his pocket, turned to the man and his son and said, here, Take what you need. Take what you need. Folks, those are the words of Christian stewardship. The Bible tells us the more we give, the more we will be blessed by our giving. Put me to the test, God says. See if it ain't so. Give of your lives to build the kingdom, your money and your time and your energies, and see if you won't be blessed with a blessing you can't find anywhere else. Go ahead. Test him. Because from where I'm standing, he hasn't failed a test. Amen.